Birds are gone. Plants are destroyed. The entire ecosystem collapsing. An entire island almost died because of rats. Not just any island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site halfway between Australia and Antarctica. Picture this, 60,000 seabirds killed every year. Entire species vanishing. Landslides wiping out penguin colonies. It was an ecological nightmare. But then, humans did something incredible. They staged the largest island restoration project in history. And what happened next? Nature came roaring back. Now, before I'm going to tell you everything, please hit the like button and subscribe, a big help to spread this video around the world. Let me take you to Macquarie Island. It's a tiny volcanic rock in the Southern Ocean, just 49 square miles of cliffs, moss, and wind. No trees, no people, just nature in its purest form. This place was packed with wildlife. Royal penguins with golden crests marching in massive colonies. Seabirds nesting everywhere. The island was literally pulsing with life. Emphasize. Evolution had created something special here, a sanctuary shaped by millions of years of isolation. But then, in 1810, humans showed up. And they brought hell with them. Sealers arrived looking for profit. Seal oil and pelts. They slaughtered thousands of seals and penguins. But the real disaster? Rats and mice hid in the ships. When they reached the island, they found paradise. Birds that had never seen predators. Eggs just sitting in nests. No defenses, no escape instincts. It was a buffet. Rats devoured eggs, tore apart chicks, even attacked adult birds. They multiplied like crazy. And the bird population? It started crashing. So humans tried to fix their mistakes. Someone had a brilliant idea. Release cats to hunt the rats. They made it worse. Then rabbits were introduced. Another terrible decision. The rabbits bred explosively and ate everything. With rabbits everywhere, the cats stopped hunting rats and started hunting birds instead. By the 1970s, cats were killing 60,000 seabirds every year. Entire species disappeared. The ecosystem was unraveling right before scientists' eyes. And here's where it gets worse. Without plants to hold the soil, landslides started. In 2006, one massive landslide wiped out part of a royal penguin colony. Satellite images showed 40% of the vegetation was just gone. The island was dying, and if nothing changed, it would die completely. So Australia and Tasmania launched one of the most ambitious rescue missions in conservation history. First mission, Remove all 2,500 cats. It took 15 years, but by 2000, done. But remember those rabbits? Without cats, their population exploded again. The island kept getting destroyed. In 2007, the real battle began. With $15 million, seven years of planning, 300 tons of poison bait dropped by helicopter, then, they brought in detection dogs, highly trained hunters. Teams walked over 56,000 miles. They searched every burrow, every crack, every hiding spot, in freezing rain, in brutal conditions, hunting for survivors. And in 2014, success. Macquarie Island was declared pest-free the largest and most remote island ever fully cleared of invasive mammals. And then, nature absolutely exploded back. Plants returned, moss covered the hills. Birds that hadn't nested in decades came home. Insects reappeared. The ecosystem healed faster than anyone expected. It was like the island had been holding its breath for a hundred years and finally exhaled. Today, Macquarie Island is a living miracle, but the battle isn't over. Every boat is inspected, every boot checked, 
train dogs patrol constantly because it would only take one rat, just one, to destroy everything again. This story proves something incredible. We can fix our mistakes. When we fight for nature, nature fights back, and it wins. If this story amazed you, smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing stories you've never heard before. Because our world, it's worth fighting for.